Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on that link. My name is Nick with NorCal Rod and Reel. As you can see behind me, we have the Lifetime Tamarack Angler 100. And you're probably here because you saw the title and you wanted to see how this boat performed on the water. Well, I'm gonna show you that in a moment. Uh, but just to give you a little background, I thought I had lost this footage. I purchased this boat in the summer and I recently found it. I figured it'd still be prudent to go ahead and show you guys uh, really what I thought about the boat once it hit the water. So this is kind of the second step in uh, my impressions and review. So if you haven't seen the first video that I did about this yet, and you're considering picking up this boat, right? This budget entry level fishing kayak, you can go ahead and click on the link up here. I'd recommend you start there and check it out. Um, that's gonna give you a lot more of the technical information and other things you might be considering, right? When you're gonna go ahead and purchase this boat. Here, I just wanted to give you the second step in the review and show you and tell you really just what I thought about getting on the water with this thing. Um, as I mentioned, it's a budget fishing kayak. So there's a lot of people out there who really don't wanna break the bank and still wanna access water. This is a great option for you guys to go ahead and do that. You can go ahead, you can find this at Walmart. You can find it at Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm sure there's a couple other retailers that do also carry this, but also check Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. You can find some killer deals on these boats on there i found a couple just recently through the holidays just because you know people are looking to either upgrade or change boats or you know maybe they got a bonus coming through and they want to spend it on something that's a little bit better so instead of blabbering on let's go ahead let's get out on the water and i'll show you guys how this first paddle went and give you guys some thoughts and i'll see you guys again at the end of the video Well, we finally made it out here at Mather Lake. So far, so good. The kayak is super stable. Still trying to get my bearings, but all in all, really pleased. I finally get to enjoy the water. I mean, this is, this is what it's all about. Even if uh, not catching fish, you still get to come and paddle out and enjoy everything. So I'm gonna take this a little bit further back before I uh, get the rod in the water, I wanted to, to get all the stuff out. I'm trying to still gather my my bearings in the seat here to, to make sure that uh, I'm not gonna tip over on the first day. I should knock on wood or something, but we don't really have wood. This is so rad. <laughs> Everyone who's not from California is gonna start commenting. Tubular dude, righteous. I'm really impressed with this boat so far. The ones that I uh, I was looking at as a starter fishing kayak were in the, uh, like the eight to nine hundred dollar range, and uh, I'm still looking at them. But I, I needed something that was gonna get me on the water. This was a good solution, you know. Uh, I've seen a lot of people put do some put some really, really, really good reviews on this specific kayak. Um, just from a budget side, how it performs, people have been really impressed. So for a good first kayak, got this thing for two hundred eighty bucks. I mean, it's nothing. Ooh, was that right? I'm a bigger dude. Weight capacity on this is 275. I'm a little little wet right now. I didn't put scupper plugs in this, but it's not uh, it's not an inconvenience to be honest. If I were fishing sometime in the winter, where it's colder, absolutely it'd be an inconvenience. But right now, where it's it's sunny outside, it's like 75 degrees. Um, you know, it's a good. It feels great, and no no complaints.
I don't know much, obviously, about boats and kayaks, but this is very comfortable to paddle. I will say that. You know, uh, thus far, I haven't really had a problem with tracking. I mean, there's not too much wind. This is pretty calm water. Um, it does move pretty fast, and I'm sure, I mean, I literally bought the cheapest paddle that I could when I was there because I knew that, you know, watching some of the other kayakers who I follow on YouTube, the paddle is really worth its, its full metal. And, uh, you know, that's going to be another upgrade too eventually. So, quick little mid morning update. We've been out here on the water for probably only about like 30, 40 minutes. I got this awesome US Coast Guard PFD because safety first. And, uh, also too. We've, uh, we've kind of canvassed a whole back part of the lake that I've never been able to access. This was the whole point, obviously, of getting a kayak, which I'm not really explaining anything new that you guys don't already know. If you're looking to start out and get your first kayak to fish from for a $280 boat is pretty inexpensive. Thus far. Thus far. I like it. It's good. And uh, I think you guys would like it, too. I really want that fish, so let's go try to find them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the footage from that first paddle out. As you can tell, it's a really fun boat to be in. There's really no frills, right? Can't stand up in it, you're not gonna get a bunch of that extra storage, but what it does offer is ample for somebody who's just trying to get out and start fishing from a kayak and not have to modify a ton of things. You know, you have three different rod holders here. You got one up front with the Scotty mount that comes with the boat. You got two flush mount rod holders in the back. You have a nice tank well area to store a milk crate with, with whatever tackle and, and extra things that you're gonna bring. As you can see here too, right, we got a cart that we can fit on the back. There's some other stuff in here that I've upgraded already that I haven't gone over that I'll go over in another video, but what more do you need? Overall, it's for the price point, it's a very, very accommodating option for somebody who's really um, looking to spend a lot of time on the water. So, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, check Craigslist, check Facebook Marketplace. You guys should be able to find a pretty good deal on the boat. If not, your local Walmart or Dick's Sporting Goods, I know they carry them. Check it out online. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you're looking to find out some more on the boat. So with that, thank you guys again for tuning in. I'm excited to take this out a lot more and showcase some more fishing adventures on it for you guys. But overall, I'm very pleased with it. It's a fun boat, great price. If you're looking to really get into kayak fishing, this is a great place to start. So with that, thank you guys again for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next video.